So welcome to the OSPO uh, working group meeting. Uh, we were trying to think of the attendance in the group and thinking on moving along is how to bring synergy between OSPO and this group, uh, actual members of the OSPO and the Chaos OSPO working group. So maybe a representation from their side or maybe uh, as like in the Asia Pacific, they are trying to do is alternate one meeting, all the member goes to the OSPO and one meeting, all the members go to the chaos. So something along those lines, or I'm not sure. So I'm adding this into the agenda. Okay. Um, about like just maybe we can brainstorm on how how do we bring um, OSPO folks to this meeting? Like how can we maybe maybe we should do some like outreach or I'm not yep. really sure how we can let folks know that this is a thing now because um, yep. we've, we've kind of promoted it within the chaos community internally, but um, maybe we should do like a blog post or something to like. Because even folks that are not into do that are just yeah. like starting an OSPO or just want to connect with would want to come. And that's really who we like, like you said, yeah. Vinod, like that's those are the voices we need here are those who are working in OSPOs to help us decide like what what metrics are important to them and what we need to be working on. Yeah. Um, so maybe like a blog post that we can post on the chaos blog and like tweet about and stuff. So, uh, I have joined OSPO Slack too, but I don't know. Uh, I haven't observed it recently. Should we uh, post it over there about the meetings and uh, see if people are interested in understanding or developing metrics or wanted to know and advise and wait, over there? When you say so OSPO Slack, like what's that organization? So, what, what are you talking about? So since we have a Kiosk Slack, there is an OSPO Slack too. So maybe we market it over there. You mean the to do Slack, uh, Vinod? Yes, yes, to do Slack. Sorry, yes, to do Slack. I'm, I'm deep embedded in the OSPOs. <laughs> <laughs> OSPO, all the things. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't see why not. Just to like post it in there and just say, hey, yeah. we invite you to this open meetings if anybody wants to join and talk about. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, any other suggestions? I think those are definitely some good places to start. And I can take the action item of the chaos blog post. Okay. I can take the action item to talk about the, like, on the to do slack since I'm there. Okay. okay. Yeah. What what would that post like entail? Like okay. so maybe a small like uh post that uh, since we have a official association with the to do group in the chaos and we have started this working group to understand more about the things that companies are interested in uh, exploring from a metric perspective or from the measurement perspective. And we talk about these things in this meeting. So if anyone is interested, welcome to join and share their two cents. Yeah, so um, like that would also entail like putting in like the, the particular day of the meeting and like yes. the agenda, like the meeting minutes and then the link to join the chat. The... Yes. All right, okay. Okay, great. I'll do that on Monday. Monday is okay. a great day to do it. Uh, Awesome. And then um, from a logistical perspective, Vinod, as far as changing the name, do we need, it's is there anything done. else we need to do? So everything's it's, done? Okay. It's, awesome. it's, it's done. I coordinated with Kevin. That's why I've just, this is for, as a highlight that it's done. As Hooray! far as, yep. But now it needs to be updated as we evolve because uh, last time we discussed on the mission statement and I had some ambiguities that I wanted to bring here before we 
merge it to there in the readme. And then since we also discuss on removing the focus areas uh, from the scrub, so removing those focus areas in the readme will be the thing that needs to be done is. Uh, yeah, so I know um, eventually we're gonna get rid of our full metrics page. Like that's that's impending, but uh, yeah, in the but meantime, like, if, oh, go ahead. Well, yeah, sorry to uh, cut you, but I uh, what I recall from other uh, conversation, we have a standard readme format for all the working groups. So if we remove the focus area, we are deviating from the standard format. How to go about it? What should be the steps that needs to be done? And uh, I don't know. So it's it's a discussion that needs to be addressed. Yeah, and the metrics page is, you know, obviously by working group and then by focus area. So would it just yeah. all go in one? Like, is it going to mess it all up? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that, that needs to be. Uh, uh, is that is that something that the common group, like, since they kind of talk about operational stuff across working groups, yeah. is that something that the is common it, group would decide or what, like? Yeah, it, I think it. Sometimes we discuss these things in the common. Sometimes we discuss these things in the general meeting. So, true. Yeah. What would you What would you want to do, Vinod? Do you want me to put it on the agenda for the community group, or just bring it to common, yeah. or what? Do you... Either way is fine. Which one is coming first? We can. The community, yeah. The weekly. Let me. I'll just drop it on here right now before I forget. Uh, so I have. So, so we want to talk about removing focus areas in working yes. groups. Okay. Can we? <laughs> okay. Yep. So I have, so I have like how to get to the standard read, uh, standard template for readme. So where you are going to put it in the common or in the general meeting? Let's try in the general meeting, and then if it's too like in the in the weeds operationally, then and people are just like, okay. I don't know, we can bring it to common, sort it. Okay. Yeah. That way, at least everybody kind of hears that this is a conversation we're having, and it's yep. not just like siloed in in this working yep. group. Yep. Because uh, once we have more clarity, then we can move with these things. Like these are yeah. things that needs to be done, but little bit clarity is required in these things. Yep, makes sense. So. Hi, Delight. Hi, Again. Delight. <laughs> mm -hmm. All the way. Uh, I, I do. Um, the first I told you, Mr. Okay, the way I was like, Mr. Nam, first thing. So like your audio is kind of hard to hear. Is it just me? Because I was having problems with my audio list, like my speakers earlier. Is that just me? No, I, I think I also yeah. have issues with hearing. So, yep, these were the few things that we have on the agenda and Yeah, anything else that needs to be discussed? I can't really think of anything. Yeah. Yep, so maybe then we can be done early and give us ourselves like 30 minutes. <laughs> I'll take those 30 minutes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Sorry, yeah. Delight, just as soon as you join, we're like, okay, meeting's over. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> yeah, I think my next, the next meeting, we'll have like, when we talk about the meetings, maybe in the to-do group, I know like there's a whole lot of conversation that goes on there. People would be interested in kind of like, because we need yeah. more people, because I see, I'm reading the, the mission, the key areas right now. And I see that we need to also like develop more metrics and also like also develop like more 
um, models and we need these uh, people working in hospitals to give us like thoughts on the different issues that they face when yes they, well, what are those different things they would love to see you know that feedback yeah. as well yep. uh, yes sir. we yeah, do need that yeah totally agree with you that's where i was saying like we need some representation from ospos in this group to help us like think through what they are facing or what they are trying to look or what they are trying to explore that we can work on mm -hmm. yeah so hopefully by the next one we do have yep good uh, anything else anyone has oh. good all right i'm going to stop recording yep